मनशाक बरे आयुष्य जगपा जाए उमेद इच्छा सक तीन आपलेपण उमेद आसार मनीस जाणटेपण लेगीत खुशाल बरी जीण जगपा शकता अशीच एक देख मार मारिया कितेरिया मतिलदा डिसूजा एकशे धा वर्स मत जीण जगपा तर सादी इच्छा सख्त आन गजात खोस सोदप मतिलदा डिसूजा हम जिणेजो प्रवास Where do you live? Kalagur. <laughs> Tell me about the work you did with St Vincent de Paul Society. Help, he, helping poor people, getting doctors to to look after them. She started it first. I was five years president of St Vincent de Paul Society. Looked after the poor. Hmm. Don't know what. Advice for people. Advice for people to be good to everybody. Hmm. To be good to everybody. They will be kind to everybody. Hmm? That's all. With your mother, your brother, your father, husband, husband, husband. your husband. Hmm. Yes, I had a good, good life with my husband. He was a good man. And. Got on very well. How was it after your husband died? How did you manage? I went to England. He died very early, no? Yeah, after twenty years. And then, how did you manage by yourself all these years? So many years without your husband. How did you manage? I, I did all different things. I bought a house in England. Rented some of it, and managed that way. When did you come to Goa, and why did you stay here? Because I had to make a choice. Whether I would like to stay there or come back to Goa, do I prefer to come to Goa? We had no property, you know. That is why I came here. What do you like about Goa? Why did you come here? This was my country. This was my place. Who built this house? Who built this house? Yeah. My mother. Was she a good woman? Very good. Very intelligent. What did you do? What are some good things you did? Well, I didn't fight with anybody. I didn't quarrel with anybody. Good to everybody. Did you have good friends? Yes, very good friends. Is it important to have good friends? Yes, very important. Why? Why? Well, makes you happy. Makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Do you miss your friends? Do you miss your husband? Huh? Do you miss your friends? Meet. Do you miss them? Miss them. Yes, I do miss them. I do have friends now. So I went to a different place, like Rome. So With your friends? Yes. Alone? Just you and your friends? Friends also. 
What did you do in Rome? Into roots. Roots. Do you pray? Yes, of course. Okay. Is it important? Very important. When my mother was alive, she rules every day. With your mother? Together. Um, yeah, Nana is an amazing person. Um, I remember her from when she was in London. Um, that would have been nearly 60 years ago. And, and she told me when she first came, after her husband died, she was very shy and quiet. She would look at the ground, she wouldn't look at anyone. But because she had to do things for herself, after her husband died, she became confident and she would be able to speak now to, to anyone, be very confident. Um, I always remember her being a very kind person. You know, when, when, when I was a, a little child myself, but when I was upset, she would comfort me. I know, speaking to other family members, that Nana was always kind and would comfort people. She's a very strong-minded person as well. If, if she was determined to do something, she would do whatever was in her power to do it. Even a few years ago, I had a fall when I came to Goa and I was using a stick. She said, why are you using a stick? She wouldn't use a stick and she was over a hundred. Yeah, she loves her family and her religion is very important to her. She always used to say rosary and go to mass. I'm um, Nana's grandson, um, her daughter's middle son, Kevin. Yeah, I, I, I tried to, to, to come to India to see Nana every, every few years and, and she came and stayed with me in London as well. But um, I live in Scotland now and she didn't want to come because she says it's too cold. She likes the, the heat of Goa. Don't you, Nana? Mother, and she, is she celebrated her 110th birthday on the 25th. And I think she does well for herself. Hmm? And she's okay. Yeah, okay. She's not a troublesome to me at all. I kept her time, time being, I kept somebody to look after her. And she's doing well. Hmm? Why? They want to know. You like chocolates, no? Yeah. Oh. She likes Everybody chocolate. Like. Yeah. She likes chocolates, cheese, cheeses are prevalent, which so Kevin has brought from London for her cheese. What else you like? I look after her as much as I can. And I will look after her till she's there. <laughs> so this is my grandmom, um, Matilda de Souza, and I love her very, very much. And she loves me too. Mm -hmm. And she's 110 years old. She just turned 110 on the 25th of this month. And she's just the most amazing woman I've ever come across. She is the epitome of woman power. She's been, as my cousin said, fiercely independent. And she's built an empire and she's built a family 
She's the matriarch of an amazing family and she's done it all by herself. She lost her husband when she was quite young and I think she's just grown over the years into such an amazing powerhouse. And I think everything, you know, that I've learned about being a woman and being just self sufficient. She's she's she earlier she said that she didn't fight with people but I know that she's had to fight her way to get here to where she is and everything that she's created. She's definitely fought her way here. And I think it's all come from within because you might have the best support system in the world but I think it's from within and she really loves her God. And I think she's drawn a lot of power and a lot of strength from both those sources. And I know that like only recently she's had a couple of falls and that's really taken a toll on her health but she's always been you know like if I can do it myself I'm gonna do it like nobody help me I don't want your help she's been quite proud that way and I'm happy about that because that's the, the only thing that's kept her going the fact that she's had a very specific routine and the fact that she you know up until recently she used to do her own dishes and wash her own laundry and she even used to sweep the house at um, couple of years after 100 so I think that's really kept her going and I think the moral of the story is never give up and just keep going until you can so lots of values to learn from this amazing soul that I'm so blessed to call my grandmom like, oh give me the walker and she'll when no one's looking she'll tell me Buddha give me the walker and then I'll put it here and then when no one's looking she'll quickly take it and go by herself and then I get the shouting like why did you give her the walker so till now she's very very independent and you know she'll just she, she knows what she wants and just such a brave strong strong woman I love you mm -hmm. I love you I love you too I know more than you do <laughs> Uh, she's the happiest whenever her family comes over, especially her grandchildren. She loves her grandchildren. And her mood has been lifted up so much since Kevin has been here. That's my cousin. Um, so yeah, family and God are very important. And a good set of friends, as she mentioned earlier. You're looking very pretty. Who? You. Very nice dress. Dress maybe not to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're looking very pretty. Did you like your birthday? Yes. Yes, I arranged everything. Is she good? Who? Oh, Sara. Very good. You like her? Mm -hmm. She's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs>